Venus. Okay, I have no idea why they just showed her face right there, but let me tell you, it sums up the movie. That's the face I'm going to make throughout the entire flick. This whole sequence is like a bad fever dream after watching Pink Floyd's The Wall. Are there any queers in the audience tonight? Get them up against the wall! Yes! No! Wrong! Oh, there's one in the spotlight! He all up, right? Princess, are you okay? Oh. Mm. Yes, I think so. Oh, that one pussy scream really seemed to take a lot out of me. It's the head headhunter. <gasps> it's like if Dr. Seuss really hated children and wanted to give parents a way of punishing them without necessarily beating them. And yet the psychological scars would still be the same. Listen to that cheap 80s music. Does this match at all? I went through the friend zone. Gonna take you right into the friend zone. But Felix has another brilliant idea. Hats! I just don't get you, movie! I don't get you! I'm convinced this movie is where somebody's drug money went. They had to hide it somewhere, so how about a film that obviously had no effort put into it whatsoever? And on top of that, nobody would ever see. It's genius. Pure diabolical genius! Oh, thank God we're almost at the end. Okay. So the uncle comes across our heroes and forces them to show where the book of power is. What is this? Some kind of joke? Truth? Love? Wisdom? I've been suffering and waiting all these years for this crap! Hey, at least those years were in flashback. We had to sit through a whole hour and a half for this weak-ass twist. Master Cylinder! And speaking of weak-ass twists, just as the uncle threatens them with a giant killer robot, Felix literally throws the book at him and... that actually defeats him. What you do? My army! Ah, uh, yes. Nothing like showing truth, love, and wisdom than by tricking your enemy with all your hatred through the dumbest and most barbaric of idiotic methods. Truly, we've learned a lot from this movie. So Felix tries to go back to his dimension, but it turns out none of the gold the professor's brought is able to pass through. But I have a feeling that your gold will pass through the dimension portal. But Princess, I don't have any gold. You're wrong, Felix. You do. You have a heart of gold. Decapitated Macy's Day balloon, you are shit on a dick! This movie! This movie! I mean, my god! It is horrendously bad, beyond annoying. Every second is like a kick to my ball sack. The story, the characters, everything about it is like a little kid jumping on her bed screaming. It's just loud, grating, and makes no sense. It's one of the worst people, one of the worst that I've ever had to sit through. It is a piece of... Ah! There are no words to describe it. There's only one single, solitary image. Thank you. I'm the nostalgia critic. Run, my children! Run! You're free! Flee this horrible cauldron of ass! Ah!